What makes us us is different people, different backgrounds that come together to make one nation. You are a patchwork of what's come before, built on the foundations of community members that have come before, events that have taken place. Who are we as a person? Why are we here in this particular part of the world? And all these questions that forms our own identity. It's very important to look into how our ancestors come here. You're not who you are without knowing where you have come from. Jews have been in Singapore since the 1820s. We thought that it would be a, a great addition to uh, Jewish life and, you know, also Singapore cultural uh, museums. And this is the first institution that's been built really for members of the public. Every time we try to collect history and data into a room, first of all, you have the challenge of going through the data and the historical record. Then you've got a whole conversation about fundraising and budgeting and then space, the key element that NHB uh, helped us with certainty of funding. The other thing that really helped as well was there was a level of flexibility within the process and the team at NHB, you know, they were always around to give us guidance. It was a great process overall, I must say. TKGS has a very long history, so we wanted to see how we can bring this story alive. The gallery aims to bring out the idea of leadership because our mission statement is actually to nurture lifelong learners and stewards who will serve from within and that's what we want them to take away. One of the greatest challenges that we had was to how do we pull out such a long history and present it meaningfully to the visitors and this is where the NHB grant came in. They were very helpful in allowing us to engage an external curator who was able to pull out very meaningful aspects of our history and make sure that the artefacts were flowing with the theme that we wanted in mind. So this is the oldest Teoju temple, right? The building structure is dated back to 1895. And that's why I think that it's particularly important that uh, we study and try to restore it. When we completed the restoration project, I decided that we need to go further to find out the origins of this building. After 10 years of work, it resulted in a book. So once I have sufficient materials to write a manuscript, I decided that uh, we need to look for a publisher to think about publishing and producing a book. And certainly with a book of this nature where I would like to include a lot of colour plates, colour photographs, the publishing cost will be quite enormous, which is why the National Heritage Board grant is actually very useful to make our history more accessible to more people. I realised that to make heritage part of everyone's uh, everyday life, we need to find different entry points. So food is a good angle to show people that the different foods that we're missing out. So one of the difficulties first was to find the people who know how to make the dishes. These are in the memories of people who are 80, 90 years old. You'll see a lot of people who pass on. Even like the first uh, film itself, you'll see I think about three, four people not, no longer there. Already. For anyone who is looking for a way to sort of pursue their passion projects, I guess this is a good start. This grant actually helps to open a lot of doors because the kind of support that NHB gives is not just that seed funding per se. Having that sort of like stamp of approval helps a lot. One of the challenges in making a game is that you are using unconventional production methods. So you end up having to source parts of your project from different places. And for many of these, cost goes up. Whereas if you make large numbers, the cost per item goes down. But then you have to have a big order. So having the grant help to cover a minimum number allows the project to be done at all. Otherwise, each one will be too expensive to make. For me, the reason why I chose to use games is because I wanted to make some games that people would play together with their friends, but with an educational slant to it. What I would encourage the younger generation is that actually Singapore's history is very fascinating. And we sometimes look at the black and white photographs and feel like it's a very boring era. But don't forget, only the photographs are in black and white. And the game tries to help us understand a bit more of that. So hopefully when people play the game, they'll get a sense that times were interesting and that will stir their own curiosity to learn more about this. Mm -hmm.